I was always fascinated by lenses and optics when I was a kid. And to be honest, I still am. I was always amazed at how lenses could magnify things that were far away and bring them right up into view. So what are lenses and optics? Well, quite simply, they are pieces of glass that have been shaped and polished to magnify and focus the light so that they're usable optical instruments. Now, lenses come in many different types from simple magnifying lenses right up to super telephoto lenses that are often used by wildlife photographers and sports photographers. Now, lenses also come in a thing called focal lengths, different focal lengths. And it's those different focal lengths that give us great versatility in photography and allow us to take pictures of all sorts of different subjects. Now, to understand a little bit more about lenses and about focal lengths, we're going to have to go and take a closer look at some lenses. So, let's find out a little bit more about lenses and focal lengths. Let's have a look what I've got here in the camera bag. Right, here we've got what's called a fisheye lens. This is a super wide angle lens, fisheye category lens. This one actually is just a little bit above that. It's a super wide angle lens, but not what's called a fisheye lens. And this one's actually a zoom lens and allows me to zoom from super wide angle and zoom up to wide angle. Next step up would be this one. This is a standard lens and this one has a very wide aperture. Now we've looked and learnt about apertures a little bit so far and that's a great lens for gathering lots of light because it has a wide aperture. This next lens is what's called a short telephoto lens. And these are ideal for portraiture because they give a really natural looking uh, appearance on people's faces and uh, the perspective on them is very flattering on people. This is also a really wide aperture lens which means it can also gather a great amount of light. And then moving up the range here, I've got a telephoto lens and this one's a zoom lens from 70 to 200 and that is not as big as a super telephoto, we're going up to 400 mil for super telephotos, but I also have here a two times converter, which is a great little accessory for putting with this lens to double the power of the lens. Now, one of the disadvantages of that is that it will lose a couple of stops of light, but it's great for getting that extra power. So all of these lenses allow us to do different things, and they all offer us what's called a different angle of view. So let's go and take a look at what we're talking about with angle of view. Let's imagine that's my camera lens and here's my camera body and I'm here taking the photos. Well, a fisheye lens would allow us to view from right out here to right out here. A super wide angle lens would allow us to view from right out here to say right out here. So it's still a really wide angle of view. And then going up to a standard lens, we'll probably let us see from out here to out here, a short telephoto from out here to out here, so that's giving us that angle of view. And then super telephotos are a really narrow angle of view, just from about there to there. So the super telephoto lenses give us a really tight view and a highly magnified image. So when we're thinking about lenses, we're thinking about them in angle of view. The higher the number of the focal length, the narrow, narrower the angle of view. The lower the number of the focal length, the wider the angle of the view. So let's shoot some examples with our model and we can compare the results from using different lenses. Okay, this first lens is the fish eye and we're going to demonstrate and show you the results of what you get with this lens. Hold it there. Let me just check that back. That's excellent. Okay, just run through a few poses for me. Okay, good. Turn the body a bit, yeah. Lean up against one of the pillars now for me. That's it. Great. Keep that there. Here, using the fisheye lens, we achieved an extremely wide angle of view and our model appears quite small in the photo, even though I was only shooting from about three meters away. There we go, that's it, beautiful, keep it there. Great. 
In this shot with the wide angle lens, notice how our angle of view has changed and our model has become larger in the photo. Keep in mind that very wide angle lenses can result in curvature distortion, as can be seen in the fisheye photo. The standard lens gave me this angle of view. Okay, just hook the thumb into your pocket, that's it. That's good. The short telephoto lens has tightened the angle of view even more and is a very flattering lens for portraiture. Notice how in these shots I was using flash to fill in the shadow side of my model. When shooting into the light, using flash can avoid a silhouetted subject. This technique is called fill-in flash and can give really professional looking results. To find out more about flash techniques, take a look at one of our advanced level courses. Okay, what we've got now is I'm on the, sh the short telephoto to uh, telephoto 70 to 200 lens and I can't shoot from over there anymore because it's too tight for this lens because it's too much magnification. So I've moved Kirsty down the run of the wooden blocks there and I'm gonna shoot with this extra little bit of distance and we'll be able to see the results of that one. That's great, Kirsty, keep that there. Okay, let's have a look what we got there. That's good, perfect. Keep that there for me for a second longer. Good. Now I've just been using a zoom lens for that series of photographs, but it's important to remember that fixed focal length lenses rather than zoom lenses are actually great lenses to use too because it forces you with fixed focal length lenses to move around and find new angles and new positions to get a picture from. Sometimes zoom lenses make you a little bit lazy with your photography and while they're great and while they're quite versatile, remember that fixed focal length lenses are a really good lens to use. They often also have a larger maximum aperture which is great for gathering more light and the other benefit of fixed focal length lenses, as well as the maximum aperture, is the fact that quite often they're cheaper than zoom lenses. In this graphic, you can see as we increase focal length, the angle of view is decreased. So with longer focal length lenses, we magnify the subject more. And in doing so, we actually reduce depth of field. Therefore, wide angle lenses have the appearance of a more naturally large depth of field whereas long telephoto lenses have the appearance of a shallower depth of field. So if you choose to shoot wildlife or sports or any subject where you're at a great distance, then it's obvious that a longer focal length would be your most suitable choice. If you're shooting landscapes, then a wide angle lens is likely to be your preferred focal length. In these further examples, we can see the extreme differences in focal length, starting with 16 millimeter, which is a super wide angle, to 35 millimeter, which is a wide angle, 50 millimeter, which is often known as a standard lens, then at 135 millimeter focal length, we're at short telephoto, 200 millimeter, we're into telephoto range, and then 400 millimeter, also telephoto, and then 800 millimeter would be considered super telephoto. And keep in mind, there are focal lengths even greater than 800 millimeter available too.